Hey all, this is Paramasyum. Okay, in this video, I will explain how the building happened in the Elastic Search Service. Okay, and what is what is the free uh, for each buildings? Okay, what is amount of memory uh, or API calls is free for every month? Okay, and how you can change your trial account to the paid account? Okay, and what are the different type of I mean uh, either monthly monthly paid or every month or yearly annual subscription something like that okay so i will talk about all these fact okay okay the the meter is for the building is per hour okay so um, per hour how much uh, memory has been used okay that is that is how buildings happened if it is one, one and a half hours it will be rounded to the two hours okay that's how mm, okay uh, if it is five hours so it, it it will be charged for five hours okay that's how uh, that's how buildings are, are applied okay so uh, how much gb has been used per hour that is uh, that is the meter scale okay um then the uh, uh, this the GB calculated is right. It is not only stored the data transfer between the node as well. Okay, so obviously we would think we would think like uh, the data storage is the uh, size something like that. Okay, that that is a, that is only actually built, but not only that. Uh, the apart from the storage, okay, the all the uh, data transfer between the node, between the Elasticsearch node or between the Elasticsearch and the Kibana, okay, all the things are calculated. Okay. Uh, now, for every month, they will give 100 GB free. Uh, beyond the 100 GB is billed. Okay, let's say if you if you used uh, 500 GB, so only the uh, we have to pay only for 400 GB, not for uh, 100 GB is free for every month. Okay, for it 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 it, 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 it can be any subscriptions. Okay, uh, it does not matter is gold or platinum something like that. Okay, whenever you change the subscriptions, uh, no, it, that will not impact here. Okay, now. Um, and, uh, usually, the data transfer cost, right? Uh, data transfer cost means it will include the in, in, uh, inbound, outbound, uh, then uh, data, data transfer between the nodes. Okay, inbound means obviously we will be uh, pushing data, right? Index to the inbound. That is the maximum. Okay, that is what maximum. Okay, so we will be pushing the request uh, and we will be pushing the uh, event data. Then of course the like, request, uh, how many requests data is received. I mean actual payload which is received as a request we will be sending some query right so in every query there will be json payload okay that is called as a uh, data in data out is obviously uh, search result okay uh, so search result whatever the queries uh, the, um, whatever the query we are firing to the elastic search it will return the result set okay so uh, if you are retrieving all the data uh, obviously accordingly that uh, your gb calculated okay so it is wise to uh, run appropriate filters put appropriate filter in your query right so unnecessary data pulling uh, pulling from unnecessary data from the elastic indices it's at least incur the cost right okay and then similarly monitoring data uh, usually uh, uh, the monitoring data means what is uh, uh, the elastic search itself uh, the protection cluster right deployment right the deployment uh, will send out the its its own metrics its own performance data right so uh, it, it, uh, the, that data will be captured by monitoring cluster usually so we will not keep the uh, data inside the in, in, in within the cluster within the production cluster itself so we will have separate cluster for monitoring that will be minimum three node cluster that's enough okay so production cluster may have many uh, but uh, in the in the monitoring cluster we will have so, um, minimum three nodes cluster that's more enough so uh, we can uh, store the monitoring data as well within the same production cluster but it will it will add extra storage or, or uh, obviously it will add storage um, but what is nice to degrade the performance okay uh, so that's why people will uh, prefer to have separate cluster for monitoring of the production cluster okay so that is about monitoring data okay uh, similarly watcher actions watcher action what happened what watcher actions will uh, pull the data and it will again send, uh, send out the payload this will say if you are sending a, a very big report okay uh, or uh, very often mails okay uh, everything is considered cons cons as yeah, out outbound data okay then inter node obviously as i said data between uh, nodes and data nodes uh, elastic search master ma ma sorry ma ma of course master sync up data okay so all the master node, node will sync up right uh, and uh, rebalancing of elastic uh, shard okay everything is included okay rebalancing of shard 
um, okay, and the community uh, and the data between the APM server and the Kibana, all the stuff is called let's say data in uh, data internode. Okay, so there are three categories of data um, in data. So uh, everything is calculated by the GB per JB per hour. Okay. So some of the sample that's what uh, watcher action and uh, share movement, uh, any snap snapshot creation, of course, yeah. Snapshot, uh, yeah. so that's why people would say like don't create snapshot very often, okay. Uh, maybe once in a day or twice in a day or once in a week. So th that will uh, reduce our uh, memory usage, uh, data, data, uh, data usage. <coughs> uh, then, uh, how we can uh, avoid our storage cost means uh, that, that is the only option. So, so let's say we are uh, we are collecting the metric from uh, some let's say um, from a particular way system uh, system metrics right. So we no need all the data. Uh, we can uh, we can exclude whatever the data we no need right. So those data can be uh, excluded using log stash or file bit process itself. So if you are using ingest by plane, then mean that data is in data right. So the actual metric is pushed. Uh, before the indexing only it will be removed then in, if it is in just pipeline. So it is best to utilize the processor of beat or log stash to remove the unwanted field. So that is how we can reduce the inbound data. Okay. So that is one option but, uh, the, the, but, it, but they are saying like it is like negligible something that is what they are saying. Okay. Uh, then so payment uh, okay and then uh, so uh, payment can be monthly uh, month payment every month okay that is prepaid you can say okay it's a prepaid so use and uh, so pay and use that's how uh, that's how it will be billed and in the bill we you can see the detailed okay our annual subscriptions so for the month to uh, month to month bills we have to add the credit card for there is another option is annual subscriptions so annual subscription we can do the bank transfer okay so once it's one again how it happen now so let's say uh, if i say if i paid 10 10000 dollar uh, per year then all the 10000 dollar distributed to the for each month okay so that's how uh, the, the that's how the uh, billing um, uh, per credit hours is distributed uh, anyhow so how many uh, gb we are using per hour that is a unit uh, measuring unit uh, <coughs> okay uh, similarly snapshot cost is different of course okay snapshot storage cost is different completely uh, not um, say let's say uh, we have the s3 packet for the storage of snapshot obviously that s3 packet chart is different okay um, <laughs> that's why to reduce the, uh, uh, to reduce the storage cost of snapshot we can avoid uh, creating snapshot uh, automatically uh, otherwise what will happen uh, so if it is every one hour it will have for every one hour it will create the snapshot but obviously we no need that much uh, that is if the application is not that much critical then we no need to have right so that's why uh, whenever uh, whenever need we can go for manually we can create that is the way uh, similarly uh, uh, as i said right api call api calls uh, uh, how uh, for api calls also data transfer is happening right in the in the, in the api calls the payload is going either response or request right so in that uh, um, ten, 1 lakhs uh, api call is free after that after the uh, after that the um, if, you, if if the api calls are going beyond to that count it will be charged okay so for the api call also they are charging so now so the charges will include Compute not only computing power, not only data storage, not only snapshot storage. Um, okay, it's a data transfer between the node in out. Okay, so how much data is out from the Elasticsearch? Okay, uh, and how much, uh, how many API calls occurred in our class in our Elasticsearch cluster? So these are all things covered um, cover in the building cycles. Uh, let me go into that. So where we can see the building cell now? Here, account buildings uh, in the console. Here we can see over uh, overview. Uh, of course, it's a trial account, so you will not see much details. But uh, in the usage, you will see the uh, uh, any pending bills. Okay, uh, how much is pending? All, all the stuff you will see here. Say this is my one deployment, and it is, uh, this is what happening here. You can see right, the data store uh, trans and storage cost one dollar. Okay, capacity thirty six dollars is there, but. Um, then of course building history here you will see the all the invoice numbers uh, but I'm, uh, in, in fact this is this invoice number is not available for annual subscriptions okay it will not be there available annual subscriptions it available only for the only for the monthly uh, monthly month to month billings okay then contacts 
here you can see this is the on email id we have to configure the billing so this guy will receive only the billing details okay uh, forget these two email i will have separate uh, things and that means what now um, operational email means what is happening inside the ls search cluster so it's periodically it will send okay uh, so, so that, that is the operational email then monitoring email wait list uh, whatever you can add more than one emails okay in the, the, this mails any problems occurred in any down any node have went down or storage is not accessible or something like that okay or indexes collapsed so any uh, any unusual behavior happened uh, within the cluster then that times the uh, one that, that times the, uh, the alert email has been sent so basically we will configure three emails one is for billing he will receive only the billing informations operational contacts okay what is happening uh, regular uh, regularly he will get the emails about the cluster okay and of course monitoring clusters so any problems occur within the clusters okay these are the these are the three different email configuration right email which we will configure in the um, elastic search console then one more email id primary contact okay so primary contact email is different right so that is for logging okay so uh, using my email id only i will i will log into the cluster right so that is what primary email id so there are four email id will be used in particular deployment or oh, sorry particular uh, elastic search account okay so particular uh, account not uh, not deployment specific right so um, uh, that, is, that is not deployment specific uh, it is specific to the account okay thank you thanks for watching so this is what i want to discuss about how the billings happened what are the data uh, what are the api calls are incurred uh, for the billings okay uh, uh, please uh, like it if you like the content okay and uh, subscribe my channels um, and leave your comment if you have any questions please let me know I, as much as possible i will try to answer it thank you